What we try to do is give the students an experience that they will never forget. And I, I would have loved to have had a course like this at, at, when I went to the University of Pennsylvania. Um, we take them to both conventions and we talk about the differences. We talk about um, the historical nature of these conventions. We bring in as many people as we possibly can to talk to them. So they talk, they hear from journalists, they hear from politicians, they hear from donors. And then after the conventions, when they have all this stuff in their heads and they've collected everything that they should have, um, we come back and we do once a week what we meet and usually end the course on election night. The course is the brainchild of our former dean, Kathleen Hall Jameson. It's unheard of. And in fact, it's the only such course not only offered in the United States, but I'm confident anywhere. E.g. the world. <laughs> so what is this? It's unique. 2004, um, Tuesday morning. This is uh, Boston, day two of the Democratic Convention. Uh, thanks to Marjorie, we had tickets or an invite to a so-called Senate candidate breakfast. We walked in, there weren't a lot of people there, and um, there was a senator in the back, and he came over and he sat down and he talked to us at great length. He was terrific. It was Barack Obama. And uh, that's the kind of thing that happens. It's very random. We will be walking down the street and, and I'll see somebody who is either familiar who whom I served with and we'll ask them to come over and they all love to do it. Our students spent two and a half hours one night, I want to say Tuesday night at the National Review Party arguing with Rick Santorum uh, who was uh, just, he was in the crowd uh, at this place. He, uh, he was going to run again in uh, 2012, but nobody had any idea about this. So Rick just, he enjoyed the interaction with students, so he's surrounded by uh, debaters. Uh, so we have a two and a half, three hour debate with him uh, at a National Review party. I would say one of my favorite parts about being both in Philly as well and Cleveland for the RNC is sort of just the democratization because everybody is in this one city and especially in Cleveland like it was one block where all the media organizations were you're walking past and you'll be like oh that's Chris Saliza like I retweet every single one of his tweets or like oh that's Tom Brokaw or oh that's Governor O'Malley um, because everybody is here in the same space uh, there's just an energy and people are really excited and willing to talk to you we took a picture with the Castro brothers yesterday yeah. who happened to be like sitting in the lobby of a hotel that we were there for an event um, and so it, it's been really good to sort of just walk up to people and, and I always usually feel a little bit nervous about like imposing, but everybody's really great about uh, trying, especially as young people, they really value our input, I think, and, and are really willing to talk to us. And our teachers really go out of the way to make sure Absolutely. that we meet a ton of people. There was one day in Cleveland where I think we met John Kasich, Tom Brokaw, Jake Tapper, Jake Tapper uh, uh, Charlie Rose. Rose. And then we just ran into Samantha Bee in the hallway. <laughs> and uh, it was amazing. It's hard, hard to beat that day. Yeah. <laughs> when we talk to students afterwards, and when we talk to them many years afterwards, they say it was the m most impressive course they've ever taken. It was, it was something that they will always remember for the, for the rest of their lives. And they will tell you specific stories of what happened to them. It is, it's just terrific. And, I, and I, every time I do it, I think, oh, I would have, oh, if I had had this kind of course when I was in college, I would have been so happy. It's just, it's practical. It is so incredibly, unbelievably practical. And so much of what happens at a university, any university, is very academic. It's practical, you see what happens, and then you, and then you evaluate it. You do some kind of a paper, or you, or you present in a group, or you do something that makes these students reflect upon an extraordinary experience. Now, I got swept up in the 1968 uh, campaign, and I have to say, looking back on critical experiences in my life, if you were to draw up a list of 10 or whatever, I would say the 1968 Republican Convention in Miami has to be on the, in, uh, in the top 10. That was the most astounding two or three days uh, that I've ever spent. Uh, I experienced firsthand uh, what these things can mean uh, to people who are seeing them at that age. And so I put myself in their shoes and I say every, every young person that we're sending into these conventions 
is having a very special experience and I'll wager that it will change them all uh, in the way they look at national politics and it may change two or three in the um, uh, in the course they take. They might choose public service over something else. They might choose this over investment banking, uh, this and that. That is what our program is designed to give people the choice to do. You know?